heard a lot about how to get started in open source, how to get help, how to interact with communities. Well, I'm kind of here for the opposite of that. I'm going <laughs> to teach you to recognize some anti-patterns in getting help by teaching you the things that you can do to not get help in open source. First, IRC, Internet Relay Chat, a nice um, synchronous medium for chatting with your communities. The great way to make sure that nobody answers your question is to ask for experts. Go, who here knows about Linux? And then everyone who sees your comment will go, I don't, I, I don't know three things, I know everything else, and no one will reply. Crickets. Um, another great way to avoid help on IRC is to drop out of the channel immediately after asking. I know networks are flaky, you fall out. If you really want an answer, drop a link to your question on Stack Overflow or possibly um, leave some contact info or just don't fall out. Um, another great way to avoid getting an answer on IRC is just don't tell them what's wrong. This actually applies quite widely to all of the media that I'm going to talk about. So there's your summary for IRC. Now on mailing lists and forums, how can you avoid getting help there? Well, a great tactic is to ask permission to ask your question. It's not like that's why the mailing list exists or anything. Um, go where the experts aren't. You have a Python problem? Go ask in the Ruby community. Maybe they can help. No, don't do that. Um, and finally, make personal attacks. If you can scare everybody, they sure won't answer your question. Say, oh, you're terrible, your project is bad, and you should feel bad, and then they will feel bad, and they won't help you. So that's mailing lists and forums in a nutshell for you. Now, my strategies for making sure that your favorite bug that you're really depending on never gets fixed are similar. First, get creative with what, where and how you file the bug. Just like, if they have a bug tracker on GitHub, go put it in somebody's YouTube tutorial issue co uh, comments. Nobody will ever see it there. Next, be tough to copy. Make sure that your bug is only reproducible or you only give some steps to reproduce on some esoteric hardware that there's only three of them in the world and they're all locked in museum basements and nobody can get access to them. So if you're tough to copy, it'll be hard to fix your bug. And finally, keep it vague. Again, with withholding information, if they don't know what's wrong or how to reproduce the problem, they can't help you fix it. So finally, um, I'm going to suggest some hazards of participating in open source. Now, how can you make sure you don't get all that much out of the meat space or brick and mortar community? Well, the first way to avoid getting the benefits of an in-person community is to stay home. Congratulations, you guys have all overcome this anti-pattern by being here in this room. If you're watching it on the recording, it's okay. There's room to improve. There's more conferences. <laughs> Next, scare people. Whether this means wearing a t-shirt that you, says you hate everybody who looks like them, or just like seeming to have some, something very communicable and coughing on everyone without covering your mouth. If you scare people away, they won't come interact with you and you won't make friends. And finally, the biggest um, community involvement anti-pattern is to let your shyness win. So, I really hope that you don't do this. Um, you can absolutely show up to a conference, sit there the whole time on Twitter or IRC, not talk to anybody, and you won't get as much out of it. But the real benefit to showing up and to being here is that you're making friends. And now, when you need help with something, you don't have to ask a channel full of strangers. You get to ask your acquaintance or your friend from that conference. So if you have problems with any of the projects I work on, go ahead and ping me. The slides are up there. And I hope now you'll notice if you're doing any of these anti-pattern things. Mm.